welcome or welcome back to tone travelers this is erica's voice hi hi um i apologize for the glare i just wanted to share something important with you um i'm going to do a new series every month um you'll see i'm trying to not give it away just yet but i want to show you uh the first year that um myself and my children have done so i'm trying to as you can see that's my above light and it's very beautiful and bright so here we have polar bears puffins and a ladybug i'm sorry if i'm going crooked <clears throat> sorry if you got seasick from that so this is 2020 this i'm not sponsored or anything I made a decision in my life that I'm not doing enough for animals. I'm not. Recycling just isn't enough. Yeah, that's helping the earth and the animals, but I'm not doing enough. And as of last year, in that month of January of 2020, I kept seeing a commercial for snow leopards uh, by the WWF. And it was the most heart-wrenching commercial they have ever played. I mean, they're all heart-wrenching, but this, that snow leopard... Near the end of that commercial, you could hear that poor thing cry. And at one point, it sounded like help. Because I don't know if that poor thing was being murdered. Or or another of its kin being murdered. And then I, it sounded like that poor thing was saying no. And I'm like, oh my god, what are we doing? So, as you can see, Snow Leopard was first. And... this cute little thing and it's very soft all their stuffed animals are soft so every month I had decided please excuse me as I did that that um try and there we go maybe bring a little closer that I would um, adopt symbolically adopt um, a wild animal on their list that's endangered or near extinction and it boggles my mind how many animals and bugs and lizards and all that every single piece of the animal kingdom is on that list how how heartbreaking that is for me because um if i know not many of you know me but my family and my friends who have known me the longest know how much i love animals I love bugs. Yes, I love snakes. There are very certain things on this earth that I hate. That means mosquitoes. I hate mosquitoes. I hate flies and their babies. I hate deer flies, horse flies. Um, and I don't like wasps very much either. I don't know if they're even what their purpose on, on this earth is besides stinging people. So I don't like wasps. Uh, and I don't like cockroaches because... Other than that, I'm pretty much okay with most things. I mean, yeah, I love every animal, but then somebody would argue, well, you know, uh, sharks eat seals or whatever. I go, yeah, that sucks, and I hate watching it, but you know what? That's just a part of life. And, and I would just want to mention to that person that when you get into the water, you are ample prey for a shark. That's why people don't like sharks, but I'm here to tell you that sharks are just opportunic feeders and that we have to understand what we're doing to this earth. We're supposed to take care of it. And that's why these poor things are in danger. If we weren't here, I don't think there'd be that much of a problem. I mean, you do see animals care for each other that aren't even, you know, people are amazed that an elephant can get along with a dog or a uh, an animal that's supposed to be prey to the predator can be friends. I mean, that's that's not like a miracle or anything. It's just animals know what love is too and kindness. And we just think it's dumbfounding. Well, it's not. That's just the way it is. But I want to start off with the snow leopard. That was January. Whoops. I think you just saw February. Look at that pretty thing. So on the front, I'm going to have to lift it up. It shows habitat, diet, threats, and interesting facts. And on the back, there is um, it shows you other things. So that's why part of it's taped like that. So if I take it out, you'll see. In February, yes, we decided on Jaws, the great white shark. 
yes, like I said, we need these guys. Because if we don't, you know, there's, there's an ecosystem for a reason. Please understand that these animals, you know, are more scared of us than we are of them. And like with sharks, most sharks, yes, one bite, he could bite you and basically take a leg off. But you're getting off easy right there, possibly. He may take a bite and say, oh, wait, you're not for me. I'm, I don't want to eat you. That's what they do. They take a bite if they're interested in thinking that you're food. Then they'll come after you. Sometimes they think you're a different animal, like a sea lion or a seal or a turtle. And if you're splashing, well, then they know that there might be some prey in the water that they can eat. We take a risk every time we go in the ocean. I said to somebody, if I go in the ocean and some shark gets me, well, that's my fault then, isn't it? I'd rather be shark food anyways. So there we go. And then March, we decided on a cougar, or where I'm from, we call them mountain lions, or they're also known as a puma. Aren't they pretty? And yes, everybody gets a stuffed animal, so I think the great white shark, the snow leopard is mine. The great white shark, I think, was my youngest. I think the cougar was either my oldest or my youngest. Ah, for April, the zebra. One of my mom's favorite animals. This year, we're going to get to the giraffe, her other favorite animal. So, yes, definitely a zebra. Let me bring... Yep. Trying to find the best way to do that. This is not easy. May, because we do birthday months. April was my mom's birthday month. So, May is my birthday month, and I chose a flamingo. Flamingo. Uh, that's also because my favorite color is pink, and it's a tribute to my grandmother because um, she got the nickname Flamingo Legs because she had very skinny legs, but she kind of got into it, and she, she liked flamingos. That's uh, all my grandfather's fault. <laughs> but these are the ones that are endangered on brink of extinction. I mean, this is terrible to see something beautiful like that. And then American Bald Eagle was, I think, my oldest for June. And then July was the Ocelot. I forget if that was my youngest or my oldest because I know which ones I get. <laughs> but we all have to agree. I pick two names. They pick two names each. And so we have six names and we narrow it down. So then we agree on whatever. And then whoever was the one that wanted it gets the stuffed animal. You don't have to get a stuffed animal. If you go to their website, www, <laughs> three W's, and then www.f.org, uh, there's different ways to donate, different ways to give. I mean, you can adopt. You can buy socks. Yes, it's an outrageous amount for socks or whatever, but this is donations to help them in the conservation of not only the environment, but the animal that is endangered and the ecosystem in it. So yes, look at that beautiful thing. I do love an ocelot. Ah, the beluga whale. I know this is my youngest. <laughs> because I don't know how, but I think so. I, I had to monitor the YouTube. Because they found about um, SCPs. So my youngest named the beluga whale bridge worm. <laughs> Mind you, that stuffed animal is a very quality stuffed animal. It's beautiful. Um, the great white whale. So pretty. And September is the grizzly bear, which is perfect. Look at that. This thing is so soft. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, look at this thing. And it's perfect because I am a mama bear. And my kids wanted me to pick the grizzly bear. They saw the grizzly bear and they said, Mommy, that's you. Pick it. <laughs> oh, they know I'm a mama bear. So, yes, look at this gorgeous thing. As long as I can get my arm out of the way. And this is not a well known kitty, uh, the serval. My youngest picked this one. But it is gorgeous. 
And I have seen it in person. Um, where I live, there's this uh, sanctuary called Noah's Lost Ark where these wild animals come to live. And you can come see them. It's not a zoo and it's non-profit. And it rescues animals that um, were lived in an exotic park that had to be, you know, because they didn't have the right papers. Um, circuses. Oh, people who just buy exotic pets, own them, and then just can't take care of it. So, and these are animals, I mean, some of these animals are scared of people. Like, there was a grizzly bear. A female grizzly bear that she was walking out. She saw people. She turned right back around and wouldn't come out until you left. So my mom and my boys passed. And I just stood back to see if she'd come out. And she did. She didn't notice me. So I watch. And I think to myself, what in the world would scare this grizzly bear that it was scared of me? I should be scared of it. Really? This thing is humongous. It's got claws. It's a bear. It can really hurt you if you piss it off. And this poor creature scared of me. I know I did say that, you know, most of these animals are more scared of us than we are of them. But when I think of a bear, you know, I think of a bear, you know, you're watching it. It's, I'm want, you know, you're cautious of each other. Unless, of course, there's cubs. Then that's why I'm called a mama bear. But when there's no cubs and say it's just a bear and you, and you're just... You're taking a walk and it's just walking you know you ain't gonna bother each other you should be wary of each other but there should be no reason a bear should be scared of me that's just what really made it sad and heartbreaking was to watch that bear be scared of me most of these animals are scared they did it actually taken that tiger from the manhattan apartment i believe it was a tiger might have been a lion but i think it was a tiger and that creature, we did not get to see that creature, but it died last year. So they did, they're a nonprofit. They take care of these animals as best they can. There are some that you don't see that are in severe conditions because of what has happened to them. So go, I, I will put up a link to them. I mean, they're in Ohio. But any kind of donation really helped these animals out. Oh, by the way, have you ever seen a white deer before? Ever? A female white deer? Well, I certainly have. And she is gorgeous. And she's very lovable. And she'll lick your arms. <laughs> and she's at the Noah's Ark Sanctuary. And I believe her name is Snowflake. So she's very pretty. I don't know why anyone would... You know, try to hurt a white deer. I mean, this is a white deer. I've never seen that. Gorgeous. I have pictures. Um, I don't know if I can put them on here. But November is a honeybee. My oldest picked that one. Because this is his birth. October, I know why my youngest got it. Because October is his birthday. And he didn't know what animal to pick. So we just picked random animals. But November... My oldest picked the honeybee. Very important. And guess who just made the list as of late last year? Because they keep adding animals. Is the bumblebee. You know those big fuzzy bumblebees? They're big and fuzzy and they hover and they, you know, they're in trouble now too. We need these bees or else we ain't going to make it in life. It's bad enough what went on last year, do we need to add on top of it? I mean, we gotta help these guys out. We need these guys. And we gotta, um, I think it's the pesticides that are killing them. What does it say? Threats is habitat loss, pesticides, pathogens, colony collapse disorder, which I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna have to look that up. But I think the pesticides, that's, that's not good, my friends. We need these, we need these guys badly. Please don't kill them. I understand if you're allergic that that might be a necessity. But for anybody else who's not allergic, please don't kill these guys. We need them. And last but not least, I December, Ladybug. 
Oh yeah, like that. How cute is that? Where is it? Oh, her little little antenna things are right there. This I'm disappointed in seeing. And the main threat is pesticides. I I'm disappointed. I never thought I'd see a ladybug on this list ever in my life. I'm waiting for lightning bugs next. Or as everybody else calls them, fireflies. But depending on where you're from, they are called lightning bugs. That's what I know them as. Here, let me bring them off. My flamingo. If she'll stay. There you go. Um, so yeah, I wanted to bring this to your attention. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear this loud ass fan in the back. My dad does um, a fire every now and again in the fireplace. And so to bring down the electricity bill, or whatever. So I'm doing a series every month that I'll bring to you of what animal we've picked for that month to adopt. And I will leave links to not only the WWF, but ASPCA to help the uh, our domesticated animals, our farm animals. Um, the Humane Society is the same way. So, yeah. Uh, the Humane Society. <laughs> I said that. Sorry, I got a little interrupted. So I'm going to repeat myself. Apologize. Um, there's also one about trees. Um... You can give, like, a dollar to save one tree. Or it might be a dollar for two trees. I don't remember. I think it's a dollar tree. And they get planted wherever it's necessary. Like, Australia, um, the Amazon, when they have the fires. Um, wherever it's necessary to plant, replant a tree. And I think that's another important thing. Um... I'll leave a link to that because I do give occasionally to that. I give usually five bucks because trees to me are also very important because we need them to breathe. And I, um, when I go visit the Cleveland Zoo, they built the rainforest back in 1993 when I was 12. And the first time I visited, it showed you how many trees are being cut down in the rainforest and everything near the end. The last time I went and visited, was in my 30s. I cried. I cried. And my, my oldest child asked me, this is when I think Gabriel was just a baby. And was he was a year old. And I cried. And, he, and my oldest one asked me, why are you crying? And I told him, I said, this got worse. We had a lot more trees in the room for us we down anymore. Think of not only the trees being cut down, but all those animals that lost their home. Now, most people wouldn't care about that. Oh, they're just animals, blah, 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 blah. Well, think of it this way right now. With this COVID-19, I'm sorry to bring this up, but think of it. A lot of people are losing their home. Think of it in the way of the animals, too. They're losing their home. They don't have a choice. Neither do these people that are losing their homes because they can't, because of what's going on in government. Think of it that way. Because of the disease, because of the loss of jobs, no fault through, through these people of their own, they're losing their home. Think of it that way. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the way the animals are going through too. They didn't do anything wrong and they're losing their home. For what? For what reason? This is why I recycle. And now that I can know that I can recycle plastic bags, that's even better for me. I find that just as important as saving animals. Because I want to say that I played my part and I did what was best. Because, you know, I may not be the most religious person in this world, but I do know that in this world, we are to take care of what we are given. The Native Americans said, we borrow. This earth. this earth isn't ours. We don't own any of it. We borrow it. That's why when they kill an animal, they use everything off of that animal. The fur, the bones, whatever. They use everything. They do not waste an animal. That's why I get so upset. This is why I eat off, so I don't eat a whole lot of meat. I'm not a big meat eater. 
He said, I don't believe in phony men that just believe. You're going to put on the money and need it for everything. And I mean it. I'm not going to just, you know, I mean, I do so eaten every now and again. Mainly chicken. Because I like chicken. But I'm, I don't eat meat a whole lot. I tend to like a pasta. <laughs> pizza? Cheese pizza. I don't really like anything in my pizza but cheese. So. Yes, it comes from a cow, and I know that there's other people out there, well, you're using the animal and making it do stuff against its will. I understand that. I get that. I can't help that I love cheese and ice cream. I don't like milk, so you guys are good with that. And my poor flamingo. Go over here. <laughs> but, um, that's all I have to say. But I like bring, I wanted to bring something different within my bookish channel. This is one of them. There's another thing that I would like to do. I'm not sure how that would go over. But this is the first project. Every month I'll bring you something. I will definitely have the links below. As always. In no matter what video. I have important matter subject. Everything's in there. Black Lives Matter. Breonna Taylor. I am so upset with what happened with Tamir Rice. And Breonna Taylor's case. I'm not thrilled, but I'm sure those links will stay open and we can still donate and do what we need to do. I'm trying to bring important things that matter to me that should hopefully matter to you. So I will leave the links below for WWF.org. Check them out. Check out ASPCA to donate to your domesticated animals and help them. Uh, same thing with the Humane Society. And then if you really love trees or just want to replant a tree that will go somewhere that should be, that is necessary, like the Amazon and Australia or wherever, California as well, because I know they always have wildfires. Um, then I will leave the link for that down below. So I want you to stay safe. Please stay healthy. I will see you guys next time. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um... Support my channel down below. Uh, those affiliate links, I really only get a small commission from bookshop.org. Um, book of the month, I just get a free credit to get a free book. Um, and I think you get a discount, maybe, or sign up is like $9.99. I forget, but check that out. Um, if you just want to buy me a book, go right ahead. I got an Amazon wish list going on. It's humongous. <laughs> but... I think the most important thing besides supporting my channel there would please, more importantly, support these guys. They're the ones that need the help. They're the ones that don't have a voice. Where we do. And I'm very passionate about animals. I have been since I was a child. And they're very important. Animals are like children to me. So my children are important and these animals are important. And I feel it. A disservice that they don't they don't have a voice so please help them out I definitely will leave the links below and please know that you are blessed and that you are loved and I thank you so much if you do help these guys out bye <laughs>